this. All right. Welcome to another shop talk. <laughs> yeah. Shop talk. We're, we're, <laughs> we're actually to... back again. Can Meat you even believe talk. it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and wait a minute. We have a guest. We do. Mike, would you like to No, I've been him? here a while. <laughs> oh. oh, you mean him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Doctor Dan, Doctor Dan Dezobo, <laughs> Dezobo motorcycle fame. Yeah. <laughs> Just fame. ask him; he'll tell you. Dezobo <laughs> <laughs> fame. No. Dezobo Motorsports and Fabrication out of Hampstead, New Hampshire. Yep. The one and only, the bearded wonder. Yes. <laughs> the creme de la creme. So the reason. <laughs> all right. So one of the reasons Dan's here is because because uh, we started ragging on. Uh, early Japanese V-Twins. Yeah. Not just that. It, it started out as what's awful to work on. Yes. Like the worst bikes to work on. And then we kind of we kind of steered over towards early Japanese V-Twins because that seemed to be... Well, the, that's because <laughs> Gretchen showed me a, 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 a cast out, out Virago, right? Virago. I said, I said the, the bike was the, the most infamous for its... Worth the the starting system. The box of rocks. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> What's that sound? Absolutely like? oh. unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. Ever tried to push the start button on any Virago, you know that sound. The box yep. of rocks sound. Yep. And then so it started to uh, uh, morph into you telling me all kinds of stuff of the stuff of the problems you had yeah. when you worked on them. And then he said, Dan runs into the same problem. Dan runs oh, yeah. into this. Dan's got a list of them too, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. I got the text from Mike. We were talking about it. And for about an hour, I was texting you. Well, oh, yeah. This bike sucks. This bike that sucks bike to work sucks. on. That bike sucks to work <laughs> and, on. And they were generally all mid 80s. Yeah. 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 Early, oh, absolutely. early Jap Japanese. Or, absolutely. Yeah. Or cruisers yeah. or right. tourers or something like that. Yeah. Uh, which one's the one that you have to uh, pretty much take the motor out to, Kawasaki to change the stator? Kawasaki VN700-750. So, and, and they made it from 85 till the, the early 90s, and they knew that the stator would go, and they did. And you, they you knew you can't get the cover off, right? You can't get the cover off. in the way. Yeah. This cover's right there. And you can get all the bolts out, yep. and you can't get the cover off, because the shifting shaft for their dorky forward control crap <laughs> sticks out past the front down tube of the frame. It's like, who designed this? Somebody that wasn't going to work on it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like, holy there was moly. A, isn't there a, an intruder that's a nightmare to do carb sync on because there's a cable, a secondary yeah, throttle goes cable the that goes from one to the other, and it's a huge pain in the rear to sink and work on and all that. Oh, and get but, down in between the frame, the frame yeah. rails. Yeah. How that's about how about how about putting a battery in one? It's in at the back of the motor, yeah, in front of the rear wheel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, Jack the bike up. I mean, it's like, what the hell? It just it it goes on and it goes on and and uh, I mean those are those are some of the crazy things that that Virago starter system though is like. What kills me about the Virago is as an awful as a bike as it was, they're 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 transforming them into these. Cafe races. They're, they're building cool bikes. Why? They are. They really? Are. Start with that Why, Mike? Why? Why? Oh, because God. it's a V-twin motor that actually sounds good and goes good, yeah. and it's hung from the frame. Yeah. So you can chop everything else off the motorbike, yeah. yep. and, and it's just an engine and a frame and two wheels. Yeah. So. Well, you know why else? Typically, they're free. And they're, <laughs> yes. and they're, they're free. In, they're yep. in somebody's yeah. shed. I've been offered... Dozens of them over oh, the years. Got, I got some free <laughs> ones over the years. And, uh, I actually sold them and people bought them and yeah. they liked them because they didn't have to work on them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> when, we were, uh, when we were developing a CDI box for the Viragos, we had we had a seven hundred. We had uh, no uh, no, it was a seven hundred. It was a seven hundred. That was the later version. Yes, though, that, that we, we had, had to. With. Right. You know, we were testing a lot of the CDI box, so I had to go out there and start the bike, oh. run it for a little bit, make sure the CDI worked. And I was testing four or five at a time, but it would take like six hours because the bike just wouldn't stop. <laughs> it would not it wouldn't catch. It wouldn't stop. Oh God. What? I hated that. Push it what? down the road. Oh, yeah. Can't junk. check the spark while you push start. What a nightmare. That was a stop clutch. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It just rattled around in there. Oh, oh, as much oh. as I love Yamaha, they didn't fix that on all the quads either. The, the uh, Raptors for years. Same, 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 same idea. Stop yep. clutch was a blow on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a whole fleet of uh, bikes that are awful, can awful to work on. Yeah. That definitely, and I mean, all of that, as opposed to some of their other bikes, like I was telling these guys here yesterday that uh, 
the VT 750 700 early stuff burned out stators burned out rectifier <laughs> regulators eight starter motors constantly constantly go to the V4 it never happened and it, and the, essentially the stator is the same stator essentially the regulator it's basically the same thing <laughs> and they would almost never go but the shadows like you talk about a money pit another money pit yeah oh yeah what's the worst one that you've worked on that you remember in like recent times oh i've got a an 84 magna Ooh. at the shop oh really and, and you're having a hard time with that it's well, it's because it's so it's old. That, what is yeah, it, it's accessibility? Got, it, it's because it's so old. Is right. what yeah, it is. Everything's crusty. Yeah. They yeah. don't want to put any money into it. Yeah. yeah. So they don't want to put intake boots. What a typical yeah. thing that is. Yeah. How, how much? Like, listen, it costs just as much for me to work on this junk as it does that brand new uh, road glide over there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> well, exactly. Decide <laughs> what you want me to do. Yeah, look at that. I got the Midnight Max. That's oh, yeah. oh the Midnight Max. It's a Yix mobile, isn't it? I think it's a Yix engine. I don't know what it is. The Yix. I don't know. I don't know much about it other, other than I can work on it. I don't, know, I don't know much about it before my time. Well, I don't like working on it. If anybody's got anything that they hate working on or a job for any particular motorcycle or ATV, bring it right to Dan. Bring it to Dan. Yeah, look at him. Look at him. He needs more. He, he needs more torching. He's joking, but when I open, I got a lot of that. I said, I said everything to him. Everything. Yeah. Everything. And well, you know what? If you think bungies. these bikes are great, <laughs> prove us wrong. Tell us why you think they're still great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you can. Wow. All right. So we're going to see you guys next time, and we might be doing something. I don't know. What's behind you, Michael? Uh, the purple piston going? eater. Yeah. The purple piston eater. Yeah. It's a surprise. We'll see. All right. We'll see. To be continued. Yeah. All right. See you.